Alright, welcome back violas. This is your fourth scale that I've recorded for you. I already did C, G, D, and now I am on to the A major. A major is the same fingering of the B flat major scale, except it is in first position. Okay, so this is why I'm doing this one first instead of the B flat, because B flat is in second position, um, where you only shift from where your first finger will be on A, it would be at B flat, but we're gonna do A major, so we're gonna start on first finger. Remember, again, two, three position, okay? So when you do this scale, you do shift, wah, wah. So you need to make sure that you get used to getting up here to this position, to these positions up here, your fourth position, okay? So when you play on third or fourth position, should I say, you need to make sure that you're preparing yourself for um, the idea of where you shift. So, here we go. <coughs> I'm going to show you where that is in just a moment, so bear with me, but for now I'm going to play the scale first, okay? There are two ways that you can do the scale, and I will accept either or, okay? The first could be the shifting early on or the one later on. Either way, you still have to shift, okay? One, two, three, four. Forgive me for my horrible intonation. Let's try that one more time. Same one, same fingerings. why I don't like that one and you could hear all the intonation problems so yes you could be like oh Mr. Parker like you sounded so bad in that A major video well here's the thing here's why for this particular um, part you have like I said you have two choices you can choose which one you would like the second one is my preference and here's why so if you're on the A string and you choose to shift to the D here and then you keep going you have to get to the harmonic A, but I don't play it as a harmonic, but then you have to deal with this awkward pinky dance on your instrument. It's like, woo, pinky dance between A and G sharp, and I don't like that doing that often for a lot of scales, but for ones that have a little bit more space in between, I like to use individual fingers. So that being said, even for the arpeggio, when I had it still... Sorry. My first instinct was to go to first finger on the E so I could just play fourth finger. See? You may be able to see it there. No fingers are not on those strings. Even if they were, you can see it a little bit more there, but you see between here. Okay, but so that's why I don't like about that because it's so much uncertainty in a way. So here's the other one where you shift on the D string instead of the A string and you'll see and hear that one differently. So that one has a little bit more certainty. My intonation was a bit better on that one, and here's why. So when I play on the D string, I'm playing D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay? I shift to third and a half position because my first finger is going where G sharp is, not G natural. That's G natural. Go up a half step. See how my fingers move? This is G. A. G sharp. Okay, so, so that's G sharp A, and then I continue on A, B, C sharp, all open, uh, one, two position actually, and then open position on the A, A string. Now, notice though, well, this time also when I played, I did the same thing with the pinky, the pinky dance thing that I mentioned. But I didn't keep it down this time. I slid it to the harmonic position, so I'm playing the harmonic at the end. Okay, 
So hopefully that a major scale explanation helps you out a bit and that you'll be able to practice fairly well with it. Please use a tuner to help you out in their higher positions because the higher you go, the more susceptible your ears are like, okay, I can't really, I can't. I don't feel like this is in tune, or I do feel like it's in tune, but only because you feel like it doesn't actually mean it's in tune. So please make sure you use um, something to help you remain in tune. My suggestion, get a tuner so you can hear each note go very slowly. Don't try and go slur for like a monster crazy person. Like, no, no need to do all that now. But you could just easily go, hold the notes. So what I started doing was humming as if I were a drone, and on some people's tuners, and there, there are some apps for this as well, where you can have a sustained note um, being for your tuner, or on your tuner, and that note can be played, and you can hear if the intervals, or in other words, the distance between the notes, is actually correct or not, and it will be able to like help you know if you're in tune or not. So please make sure you use that for all of your scales, actually. You do it for all of them. It'll help you a lot with your ear, and even more so with your fingerings for your instrument and not just muscle memory. So anyway, enjoy this video. Happy practice. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.